All right. I'm going to try a quick picture in just a minute. Um, this is very different. These are very, very young layers compared to where we've been. Um, this stuff's 40 to 60 million years old. Um, pretty young. It's all lake bed sediment, and I'll kind of show you where that lake came from. But if you look out, there's Navajo Mountain again. Way, way out there. That's just on the, the other side of Lake Powell. The bump up there? And this is, yeah, the bump way off in the distance. And this is Powell Point up here. That's the exact same layer. It's called the Claron Formation. That's what we're in right now. But there's a major fault line between here and there. There's the Ponsagut Fault and the Sevier Fault. Those two faults kind of um, mark the, the, the edges of this plateau. This is the Ponsagut Plateau. And that's the exact same layer, almost a thousand feet higher. And if you look out there, you see that gray capstone. This is all limestone, with, um, which, which is calcium car carbonate. That's actually dolomite, which is calcium magnesium carbonate. So it's a little bit harder than the rest of the stuff, and that forms the capstone that protects all of these um, hoodoos. After that falls off, these start to melt away. And if you come over here, I'll give you the really quick, quick version of why this looks like this. This is the west coast. This is Baja, California down here. It goes up into Canada. East coast over here, down to Florida, and then across Central, Central America down here. And it says west coast, east coast, very, very much. <laughs> Didn't so back 120 million years ago, there was something called the Cretaceous Seaway that split North America in half. The east coast was there, the west coast was there, this was an ocean. This was the Cretaceous Seaway. The Cretaceous is the geological era that covers 125 million years ago to 65. And this lake was, I mean, this ocean was here from about 120 million years ago to about 60 million years ago. 60 million years this ocean was here, splitting the continent in half, which is pretty amazing to imagine. And so all this marine limestone was deposited over that 60 million years. This is where all the calcium carbonate, which formed this limestone, came from. But then the sea retreated, the land was lifted up again, the sea retreated, and you had, if you carve, carve out Utah here, this was a very mountainous region, and then those mountains were basically made out of all the limestone, all the calcium carbonate that was at the sea, sea floor mm -hmm. was then uplifted into mountains, and then they, that eroded into these huge lakes that formed in this area. So this is all lake bed sediment, mm -hmm. originally seabed sediment, that was mountain. I mean, it's amazing to put that all together. So that's where all this stuff came from. That's why it's very, very different than the other stuff that we've been in. Back then, the, the Navajo sandstone 190 million years ago, that was all dry desert. Yeah. So it was a different depositional environment. That's why you end up with sandstone. This is a totally different environment. That's why you end up with limestone. Wasn't there some kind of cataclysmic event that uh, caused the sea to empty? I thought we learned that at Great Basin. You know, I... You know, like something gave way. Oh, in Great Basin, that was that was that um, wasn't part of the Lake Lahontan and Lake Bonneville. Lake Lahontan was the one farther west. Bonneville is the one that formed the Bonneville Salt Flats and the Great Salt right. Lake. There was a flood that flooded to the north. Mm -hmm. That was a cataclysmic yeah. flood, and it mm -hmm. flooded for like 30 years straight. Go it carved some, some of those My caves. Into the Columbia River Gorge. Okay. Okay. All that. That's, that's what you mm -hmm. remember. And that's farther north. Right. All right. So come on back here by. Which is the best way to walk? This is the okay, best way, this one trail right like here, you go down into Fairyland, and but you can get all the way to the, to the canyon floor. Do you have like almost the trail that goes up to the next canyon, Campbell Canyon. Campbell 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 but you're probably not going to have time for that. Go to the bottom, see what time it is, and then remember it's going to take a little bit longer to come back. So, halfway, about, so if we're getting here, we have about an hour. Yeah, we've got about an hour. Go down about, you know, almost half an hour, and you're going to get pretty far in half an hour. It's a very easy walk, but it's a long walk back. A little bit longer. Not bad. You guys are all in shape after we're doing this.